Hello, my name is Nate. I'm a physiotherapist at Northern Lincolnshire and Gola Hospital and Trust. Um, today we'll be talking about upper limb neural uh, tension sliders or glides as they're commonly known as well. Um, they're used to treat neural pain associated with the upper limb. Okay. Um, when you're doing these exercises, you shouldn't feel your symptoms worsening at any point. Um, we have regressions for these exercises when we're going through them later on. Um, if you need to as well, if the regressions don't cover um, how we're doing it today, then you can always come back to your physiotherapist um, for them to regress it how they would feel. Uh, the sets and reps as well um, will be decided by your physiotherapist. The first uh, radial nerve tensioner we'll be doing will be the radial nerve. It runs from your neck down the back of your arm into and uh, rotating across the front and down into um, your hand. Okay, so how we're going to do it is we're going to have our hand out like so. We're going to rotate it down so our palms facing behind us. Okay and we're gonna bend our wrist like so. Okay, so that's it on tension here. So how we're going to do it now is we're going to look where our fingers are. Okay, so we're gonna look this way and then bring it around and tilt our head to the left. And it's important to do, when we're doing this, that our head is facing where our fingers are pointing. The second neural glide we're going to be doing is the median nerve. Now the median nerve runs from your neck also down the middle of your arm and all the way into your second and third finger and your thumb as well. Okay, so how we're going to do this uh, glide is we're going to have our hand out like so. We're going to bend our wrist back, okay, and we're going to tilt our head towards it. Okay, and then we're going to lift our wrist up and at the same time tilt your head the other way. Okay. You can increase the stretch by having it against a wall or something that doesn't move. So here we've just got a little bed so you can get more of a stretch there. Okay, so it's a similar kind of thing. Okay, so thirdly, we'll be looking at how to slide the ulnar nerve. Okay, so the ulnar nerve runs from your neck down the inside of your arm and into your fifth digit or your pinky. Okay, and how we're going to slide this is we're going to make an okay sign and we're going to have it up here by our ear. Okay, and from here you should feel a little bit of a stretch in the upper arm. Okay. And what we're going to do, how to slide it, is we're going to tilt our head towards it. So as you can see, my fingers are bending back a little bit whilst I'm tilting my head to the side. Okay. So with all of these exercises, like I said in the beginning, if your symptoms get worse or if you feel pins and needles or numbness coming on in your hands or your arm at all, then uh, stop and then ask for a regression from your physiotherapist. If you're feeling like the pain that you're having is a little bit worse, then what you can do is carry these out on a stable surface. So if we move over to this side slightly, if I'm doing this, it's a little bit short for me, but you can just have it on here and doing the same thing so we're not having to hold our arm up against gravity. That's a simple regression we can do for all of the 
and nerve tensions above.